Hey guys! So, first of all, I'm taking my Beauty Blender and just dampening that down. The foundation I'm going to use is Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, this is because this is the one that I found best stays on my skin throughout the day and when I'm competing. So I'm just sponging this all over my face. Then I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and again just putting that all over my face. My favourite highlighter at the moment is this one from MUA and I'm just using a Real Techniques brush and just putting this onto my cheekbones. Using Disobey from Illamasqua, I'm going to contour my face. I'm mainly just contouring um, the hollows of my cheeks but I'm going to do a little bit around the temples so I'm just going to work that into the skin. Taking uh, NARS Orgasm Blusher, I'm just going to put that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend it up. Now this might seem strange but I'm actually going to use three um, Soap and Glory Brow Archery products in different ways. The first one I'm going to use is the thinnest pencil. I'm just using that to fill in all of my brows. Then I'm going to take the felt tip liner and just use that for the very ends of my brows. I feel like gives a better finish. And then using the brow sealer from the last product, I'm just going over my whole brows. To prime my eyes, I'm going to be using Painterly and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid. colour I'm going to take is Floof from, I think that's how you say it, from MAC and uh, mine is in the Cinderella palette. I'm just going to put that in the corners of my eyes and also blend it onto my lid a little bit. Next I'm taking this grey shadow, it's quite a light grey shadow and it's from Tesco so I have no idea of the actual name of this product. Um, but any light grey will do and I'm just putting that all over my lid and also slightly above my crease. Next I'm going to use the gunmetal colour from the Naked One palette and I'm putting that in the outer corner of my eye and in my crease. Also I'm going slightly underneath my eye with it. Taking the black shade from my Rocky Horror palette, I'm going to deepen up the colour in the crease and the outer corner. Using Floof again, I'm going to um, use that as a highlight. So I'm just putting that on with the fluffy brush underneath my brows. To line my eyes, I'm going to be using Black Track by MAC. A lot of people don't like this product, they feel that it dries out very quickly. I don't know whether I just got a good one, but mine hasn't dried out and it's lasted and it stayed as creamy as the day I first bought it. So I'm just going to roughly line the top of my eyes and then line my waterline. I'm just going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes to prepare them for when I put eyelashes on. Duo Adhesive. This is the one that dries clear and I'm going to be using House of Lashes Noir Fairy. I love these lashes, they give a really dramatic effect which is exactly what you want when you're on stage. So I'm just applying these, sorry the view's not very good because I kept having to look down into a mirror. Now you could leave the look here as a smoky look 
but I'm going to add glitter because I love glitter and I think it gives another dimension to the look. So I'm just patting duo eyelash adhesive onto my eyelid and then patting a silver holographic glitter onto that. Again you could leave it just with the silver glitter but I'm going back in with a mix of black and silver holographic glitter. Take your time while you're applying the glitter. If one area looks like it needs a bit more, you can go back in and do that. Remember, you can always add more. It's very hard to take it off. So I'm just taking the brush that had the black shadow on it and I'm just buffing that on top just to get a bit of a gradient between my skin and the glitter. For my lips, I'm using Estee Lauder's Double Wear Lip Liner in Fuchsia. And again, I chose this because it's a long-lasting product, it doesn't come off. Next, I'm taking a section of my hair from the front, pinning that out of the way and putting my hair up into a high ponytail. After I've done that, I'm going to work on the poof. So I'm taking a backcombing brush or you can use a comb. I'm just going through section by section using hairspray and plumping spray just to get the desired height. Then once I've finished I smooth it back and just pin it together. It's important to add your bow at this stage because once you start back combing your ponytail it's going to be very hard to try and get a bow into that. So I'm just taking small sections and back combing them a lot. It looks crazy but while I'm back combing I'm also spreading the hair. So as I back comb, I spread out the hair. That way it gives you a nice even bump at the back. Then you can go in, fix bits you don't like, and maybe pin back the fringe a bit more, do a bit more back combing and just generally neaten up. So that's the final look guys. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.